Hello students, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing very well. This is another episode of the chapter light of class 10 physics. Those who have missed my earlier videos on this chapter, I have shared the uh, link in the description box. Please go back and watch those videos. In today's video, we will discuss about refraction of light. Okay students, so before I start discussing about the refraction of light, let me discuss with you certain events that we usually see in our day-to-day -day lives. The first case is that of a spoon in a glass of water. So if you put a spoon in a glass of water, uh, it appears to be a little displaced at the interface. Have you ever noticed it? Do check it out. The second case is if you put a coin inside a vessel full of water, then the coin appears to be at a higher position than its actual position. Try this one also. The third case is that of a lemon slice in a glass of water. So if you put a uh, lemon slice inside a glass filled with water, then it looks larger than it usually is. Have you noticed it? Do check this one also. Now let us discuss why all this has happened. We know that light travels in a straight line path and this is true as long as the light rays are traveling in the same medium like only in air or only in glass. However, if the uh, light ray is allowed to move from one medium to another medium then it changes its direction or bends at the boundary between the two media. For example, in this uh, diagram you can see the incident light ray enters from air to a glass lamp. So what happens? You can see the light ray slightly bends. Again you can see that when the light ray from the glass it uh, slab, it uh, comes out into the air, then again it bends. This bending of light when it goes from one medium to another obliquely is called refraction of light. So now you know that the bending of light when it goes from one medium to another obliquely is called refraction of light. Now what is the incident ray? Your incident ray is this incoming ray of light. The refracted uh, ray is the the bend light, the light, ray of light which has bent. Uh, and this straight perpendicular line that we have drawn is your normal. So the incident ray of light and the angle between the incident ray and the normal is called the angle of incidence I and the angle between the normal and the refracted ray is the angle of refraction R. Now what causes refraction of light? We know that the speed of light is different in different media. So the refraction of light is due to the change in the speed of light on going from one medium to another. Now let us see the laws of refraction of light. The refraction of light on going from one medium to another takes place according to two laws which are known as the laws of refraction of light. The first law of refraction states that the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence lie in the same plane. Refraction gives a relationship between the angle of incidence to the angle of refraction. This uh, law is also called Snell's law of refraction. According to this law, the ratio of sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is constant. That is sin i by sin of r is constant. Learn about a new terminology refractive index. From second law of refraction, we have learned that uh, sin i by sin r is constant. 
the value of this constant is called refractive index of that particular medium thus we can say that sin i by sin r is equal to the refractive index there is another formula for refractive index the refractive index can also be written as a ratio of speeds of light in the two medium or we can say that refractive index is speed of light in air or vacuum by speed of light in medium so remember these two formulas uh, you will get numericals based on these two formulas of refractive now let us try and solve a numerical based on refractive index light enters from air into glass plate having refractive index 1.50 what is the speed of light in glass now we know that refractive refractive index is equal to speed of light in air or vacuum divided by the speed of light in that medium here the medium is glass now your refractive index is 1.5 speed of light we know it is 3.3 .3, sorry 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and speed of light in glass you have to find it out So, the speed of light in glass will be equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by 1.5. So, 330 by 15, rest is all calculation. So, this comes to 2, 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So, the speed of light in glass is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second.